Welcome to another episode of Carbs. Oh, hold on. I might bring the battery. Let's lock it. The only show is in the car, and we are swall consuming carbs. Mad Zion here. We are going to be doing a compromise of sorts, okay? So, Carl's Jr. came out with their Beyond Famous Star, which is a vegetable plant, well, plant, vegetable, same thing. Well, based burger, okay? So this is for vegetarians and people that do not eat meat. Uh, I did think it was funny that there was like, there were some vegetarians that were bitching and complaining because they're like, you cook it on the same area you cook the meat. It's like, you know what? Just be happy they're giving you something at this point, okay? You picky sons of bitches. But, uh, I, you know, the Famous Star has just too many things on it I don't like. Uh, just way too many things, and it was gonna be weird for me to compromise and take a lot of those items off. Onions, lettuce, tomatoes, the three things that I absolutely hate. So what I decided to do was I ordered that patty on a Double Western Bacon Cheeseburger. Now, I love Double Western Bacon Cheeseburgers. Uh, they're delicious. I don't get them very often. Now, this is a little bit of a contradiction, I understand, because it does have bacon on it. Um, that, <laughs> that it does kind of uh, defeat the purpose. But at the end of the day, this is the only way I'm going to be able to try out this bugger. Uh, I also got this idea from uh, my good friend over at Peep This Out, if you want to uh, check out his review on it. Uh, great idea, by the way. I, I don't know if it was, it, well, it probably wasn't an official release, I imagine. Uh, he does get all of the, like, the news before I ever get it. Uh, but this just gave me the idea to do it this way so that I could at least try it and see how it tastes. Cool idea that they're starting to uh, have these kind of things pop up in fast food joints. Uh, I think it's good. It's inclusive uh, and it helps uh, people that you know, maybe otherwise couldn't do fast food. And it's just a good idea. It's a good gimmick. All right, so looks great. I mean, you know what? One thing I will say, this actually looks more full overall than it would without, with just with the normal patty. Uh, you can tell by smell and by the visual that it's not a normal patty, but I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty good. I've heard that this is not a bad uh, veggie-based burger. So let's give a big old bite. Let's see what's up. Uh, and here we go. You can 100% tell that it's not a normal patty, or not normal two patties. It reminds me more of like breakfast sausage a little bit in terms of flavor, texture-wise. I don't think I've ever had any anything quite like that before. Um, it, it's it's interesting. It's kind of a little chewy, but you also just kind of go right through it. it. Almost reminds me of cotton candy of the meat family. Tennis balls make me uncomfortable. Want to play around? This is a pretty cool alternative, I gotta say. It's good, I like it. It just tastes different, but not in a bad way at all. You can tell that the uh, seasoning that they put on the meat definitely changes it uh, in a good way. At least it tries to give it a little bit more flavor. I put a lot of seasoning on my meat too. I wanna try a little bit on its own as well. I can dig it, I can dig it a lot. I would actually uh, enjoy going through this whole burger, no problem. Uh, I like the flavor on it. Again, it is different overall. Uh, but I would like to see more things like this popping up in different fast food joints just to give people more of an alternative. Plus, I mean, I I would order it on a whim. you would just be like, oh, I'm gonna get the, the veggie version this time just because I can. I dig it. I think this is a pretty good overall substitute uh, on a burger. Uh, I'm gonna rate this a very, very solid four out of five Matt faces. Now, the double Western bacon cheeseburger gets a five out of five seal of approval. It's one of my favorite fast food burgers easily. So it's not as good, uh, but it's still, is enough, in my opinion, uh, to hold up and really hold on to the legacy of the Double Western Bacon Cheeseburger, or just in general, Carl's Jr.'s Burgers, because, again, Carl's Jr. is probably my favorite fast food place. It's it's just about to be topped by Taco Bell, though. There is something about Taco Bell that, that makes me go back to it way more than Carl's Jr. It's probably because I don't get burgers almost ever anymore, but I get Mexican food all the time, and Taco Bell's Mexican food, I don't care what you say. But either way, uh, what are your thoughts on this thing? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you like this? Did you think that it was a good substitute for a regular burger at Carl's Jr.? Would you like to see other places implement this, such as McDonald's, Burger King, all of those places? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, uh, consider supporting us on Patreon. E burger For main shows and mid-month challenges early. And thank you so much for watching, as always. We'll see you on the next episode. Yeah.